What's up, fam? It's the Bro Capitalist coming at you, and I got my uh, little list over here on your screen. And today, I've highlighted something very important. They don't believe in equal opportunity. They believe in equal outcomes. And I'm going to show you why this belief is destroying America and why this belief is why President Trump is in a courtroom right now being arranged. And is this belief that leads to this type of thinking. You're like, a, do you care? Okay, would you be cool with a guy that makes less money, but he's very, he's a hard worker, like he's ambitious? Yeah. Okay, so like, if he was making like, let's say he just started his own business, but he makes 45,000 a year, would you date him? He wouldn't be but able he, to afford my engagement ring. I'm getting an eight carat Chris and Cut vintage engagement ring. You make $45,000 a year, it would take what? you four years? No. Eight years? <laughs> But how much? I I don't know anything about rings. How much? How much is that? About two hundred thousand dollars. Girl, you want a two hundred thousand dollar? Are you insane? Okay. My ring has to sparkle from across the street. Like you have yeah. to see that shit. It's gonna blind people. But that's so superficial. That's yeah. like so superficial. But it's about so much more than that. It's about the fact that you can afford that, right? I go to yoga with this girl who has an eight carat diamond engagement ring. Yeah. With a weed company and drives an Audi. So it's about more than just, a, it's about the fact that you can afford that. Okay. Well, I'm just thinking like, <laughs> you're going to miss out on a lot of guys because we're, I'm telling. Now, uh, I'm starting this somewhat philosophical discussion with dating. And in the last video I did, I'm going to leave a link to the description. I briefly went over this, uh, this delusional state women are in. Now, I'm not attacking women, but this just shows you what this ideology is doing to our country in so many areas, right? You got this girl who's like, hey, I want a ring for 200000 That's her goal. I don't, I don't know her at all. $200,000 engagement ring shouldn't be her goal. Anybody's goal. It should be to find someone who loves you and you can start a family, grow old together, have good and bad times together. But this ideology of equal outcomes makes her believe that she can and deserves to have the same outcomes as this girl in her yoga class. Now, the girl in her yoga, her yoga class, who knows how she got that outcome, right? She may have married a trust fund kid. She may, that girl may have went in half on the ring. That girl may be lying, right? But she just believes that I, I'm here, so I, just, I deserve a 200K Engagement ring. Now, let's keep going. I want you guys to pay attention to the people in the back, the Asian lady and the black guy next to her. Just while she's talking, if you can stomach it, just keep listening. And watch no, 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 but not, not in a good way. Not in a good way. I'm telling you, like, my dad would, if my mom asked for that from my dad, my dad would have told her to go find a new boyfriend because there's no way in hell he was going to spend $200,000 on an engagement ring. And that's a multi- no, and that's a multimillionaire in the top half a percent who had 10 kids. My mom never he built, what? he said he's built to the becoming that he wasn't that originally, right? He wasn't well, he was making like six figures in his early 20s. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, so any any women woman with half a brain would think mm, this is a good, this is a good, but my dad's like he's good with money. He's not like like to me, that's like such an unwise investment to spend 200 k Johnson. Sorry, right, y'all. You're fired. Why? Too it's cheap not you. It's a shirt. Premium. It's Casual Friday. Well, you have ten. Hey, diamonds oh appreciate. Oh my god, Jesus no, Christ. no. Oh my god, no. That's like I would rather put that in a college fund for our kids, or like yeah, they'll have that too. <laughs> <laughs> but this just sounds like not like real to me you know really yeah like, i don't know for me like i told you like my my 
status is going up. Like I just did a music festival where I made 30 grand over the yeah. week in one weekend. You know what I mean? Right. Like I need somebody who can be on that level. Right. But the problem is like, guys don't care about your money. Right. So I, don't care. I, I you know, know, but it doesn't like, you know, like, I'm just I think you're gonna miss out on a lot of guys with like this like to me these are like crazy high standards so today I listened to my dating coach she she said you do not get your expectation you get your minimum standard Mm -hmm. is is your dating coach married yes and she has a baby (laughs) and her wedding ring is at least five carats yeah and her man is rich and she doesn't even have to work you know she herself makes like 30 to 50 grand a month Coaching women in love. I mean, good luck if that like works for you. I just like to me that sounds like a two hundred k engagement ring. Like, I mean, you just look at the expression on her face. She just looks delusion, right? I mean, the guys out there are dealing with a bunch of delusional women. Again, I'm not trying to bash women. I'm trying to put a mirror up to society. The reason why you got uh she she's not exceptional. Her her you know, a 200k ring may be exceptional, but the desire for women to their standard for men starts at the top 5% of uh income earners. Right? That's the start. They may say I want six figures or I want her to make 250k, but you're in the top 5% of all income earners that's old men young men uh gay men right men in your racial uh in your racial group men in your state outside of state <laughs> you're you're looking at the top five percent and then the same woman often to have two kids by two bit different baby daddies uh never seen a college except to go party at one I mean, it, this is the delusional state that a lot of women are in, and they represent what I believe has taken over the American voting population. This, well, half of it anyway, this idea that we have to have equal outcomes, and we should have always had equal outcomes now i'm gonna let this continue a little bit more and then i'll get to trump i think like guys are gonna hear that and be like no no no. you just have to have the man who's okay with maintaining you right with maintaining you right like you can be high maintenance but if you are dating a man that is okay with maintaining you you're fine you're not high maintenance then you're just on their level okay but i'm I'm just thinking like (laughs) like I, I know, but those guys that are making like, like that amount of money, like, yeah, like I think they typically want like the young, like 21, 22 year olds. I don't think so. And Maybe. I'm, what? I'm 30, so I'm not that old. I'm actually no, like I don't, an age to be wiped up by somebody who's like in their 40s and like ready to be serious and start popping out babies. A 21 year old, unless you're Kylie Jenner, is realistically too young to be like popping out. Dude, yeah. is it disbelief? Like you're too young. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, I'm sorry, the $200,000, like that's crazy to me. That's like. Now I'm gonna stop this. You guys go check out Pearl Talk. She gives a lot of insights into what probably if you're looking at me, your kids are going through right now. Um, and if, 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 hey, if you're in your 20s or whatever, go check her out. Uh, you are going through this yourself. Uh, this, this lady, later on in this clip, the Asian girl just explains why she started crying. They actually brought her out handkerchiefs and everything. Um, so superficial. So superficial. And she never mentioned I wanted, and I listened to that whole thing and I don't re- recall her mentioning, like, I want someone to really love me, to cherish me, to nurture, not nurture, but protect me. Things a man would do, like help me raise a, a family, right? She just wants, in my opinion, she wants somebody to take a shot. That's what she's looking for. And her her idea of success, along with modern America's idea of success, 
doesn't align up with America's historical idea of success, which was that that question, if you ask somebody back in the day, what do you define as success? How do you, when are you successful, right? And, and the vast majority of people would say, you know, what I wrote here. You know, what did I write that? Actually, I'm looking for it. <laughs> well, whatever the answer is, I'm sorry, whatever the answer is, it will be based on values such as individual freedom, individual responsibility, and a reality that life is hard and often unfair. Whatever your definition of success is, is based off of that perception, right? Raising a family is hard. Sometimes you might have five, six kids, one of them might die, right? Uh, stay, keeping a marriage together is wonderful. And you're going to have some hard times. Finding a, a soulmate, a good partner is hard. You have to deserve the person you get, right? That's what people would say back in the day. But now, and because the reason that would be said or thought is because we believed in equal opportunities. You have the each, this lady the young lady who wanted the $200,000 ring would say, okay, in the marketplace, I have an equal opportunity to compete with all these other girls. But now I'm 30 years old, right? A lot of the decisions I made before, like when I was 21, 22, on my grind trying to become a star or whatever, I probably passed up a lot of good husbands, right? Maybe not a lot of rich husbands, but a lot of good husbands, her choice, whatever. But now she's 30. She has to realize that there's a 22-year-old, 23-year-old, 24-year-old, 25-year-old, 26-year-old, 27-year-old, 28-year-old, 29-year-old version of herself that she can no longer compete with. But she's delusional and thinks that she's still the same 22-year-old, if not better. And she just deserves a man in a top, well, basically in the top 0.05% of earners in society. Now, it's okay to dream. We all dream. But I think, and I know, <laughs> that this lady's delusion. She can get lucky. Now, you can win the lottery. You can, hey, you can win the lottery. But the questions that were presented toward this, this lady, this panel typically is talking about, they come with statistics. Facts, probabilities based on those facts. And if you're in the top one, five percent and you're a millionaire, you're a man, you're typically looking for young er, as pretty as she can be, you'll deal with the attitude. <laughs> like that's, that's typically what happens. But more often than not, the dude who's a millionaire and is married was broke when he found his wife or made less money and they built something together. A lot of people nowadays, they're not looking for that. A lot of these women anyway, which represents this broader ideology of equal outcomes. Now, what does this have to do with Trump? Half the country hates Trump. Not dislikes him. Hates him. I mean... I remember during the election, I would ask people that, you know, I had to walk on eggshells because if you didn't vote for Biden, you were a Trump supporter. You know, no, that ain't, that ain't your boy. Principles. I like the principles he was running on. I don't care about his personality. Dudes wearing makeup, you know, I just can't. I don't vibe with that. I don't care, but like, it ain't like I'm going to get makeup you know, advice from Trump, I get financial advice. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, that was silly. Um, damn, what, what was I saying? Yeah, half the, half the country hates this dude now, or then, and especially now. Why? What did he actually do, right? He represented something. Trump actually represents equal opportunity. And you may say, no, I ain't, I ain't fair. His father gave him a ton of money. But his father grind to make that money to give it to his son. 
right? And his son took advantage of the position his father put him in. And with that, he could have did like his brother did, Fred Trump, I think his name is, become an alcoholic and you never know nothing about him. Or he could take advantage of what of how his father set him up and his sister became a justice and he became a real estate mogul and a president of the United States. He represents that. America, the land of the free, home of the, of the brave, right? Brave meaning you have to take on responsibilities. Free. You're free to go out there and fail, fall on your face, or even die. That's what America is about. But now, mainly from outside influences, they're trying to change America from the inside out. And the battering ram for that is this ideology that's a Marxist socialist ideology that's coupled in there, this equal outcomes, right? They are prosecuting Trump. He represents that equal opportunity. They are destroying what we knew as America from the inside out. And I'm gonna keep doing this this week because every day I can come up with other examples of equal opportunity versus equal outcome and how that is destroying what's left of this country. Now, yesterday I did a video said America's already dead. I truly believe that just because the de-dollarization that's going on, uh, that's externally, other people are not using our currency as much and will continue to stop using our currency. Internally, our whole mind shift, you got half of this country who believes in equal opportunity. The other half believes in equal outcome. Equal opportunity is aligned with capitalism. Equal outcomes is aligned with socialist Marxism, right? Right now, the capitalists are losing. We're losing. We're losing. I mean, right now, capitalism is synonymous with greed and evil and all that, which capitalism is only the the uh, the means of production in private hands. Now, what you do with that, if you're a good person, you do good things. If you're a if greedy, evil person, you do evil things. But capitalism itself is benign, right? But those who want a one-world government where a couple of people rule the world, They've been pushing this thing for, for generations now, and it's coming to fruition. So I want you Trump supporters out there to stop, if you are, looking at him as a savior, but look at him as, stop looking at, at him as a savior, but look at what he represents. And I ain't talking about white supremacy. That's BS from the left. What he actually represents is equal opportunity. Just like Th Claire's Thomas, uh, just like uh, what was that doctor? The weird, kind of weird Ben. Uh, anyway, uh, he was HUD secretary. I can't remember his name from Detroit. Actually, I mean he's a neuroscientist, right? yeah, and and everybody in Detroit was shitting on him. Like, how do you equal opportunity? He took advantage of the opportunity his mom's put before him, right? His, his mom wasn't a multimillionaire. Right. But Trump's dad and Ben Carson's mom set the table for him to eat and he took advantage of the food. Right. And it made him stronger. She gave him direction. Uh, Trump's dad gave him direction, advice and a little luck here and there. And he became what he became. But don't look at Trump, who's currently being indicted in New York, a, a liberal city in Manhattan in a liberal state as your savior. But do look at him as about, do look at him as what he represents. And he represents the America we knew that is being attacked and I believe is already dead. But when the smoke clears, at least you'll know what we lost. And then from there, Maybe we can get it back. But I hope that makes sense to y'all. Stick around. Stay tuned. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Again, don't look at Trump as your hero, but look at him for what he represents. He represents equal opportunity. Those who are attacking him, this DA, the Democrats, they represent 
equal outcomes. That that ideology is a cancer in America. Hope you got something out of this. Peace. I'm out.